what's up? I'm Brian here, doing another video for you guys, and this time we're going to be talking about some more Transformers Generations Legacy listings. So, no images to provide, it's not like we could show, oh, this is what Prowl's going to look like, it's just listings. So, take everything with a grain of salt, and also certain things might change eventually, we don't necessarily know, but this is the current listing that we've got, and a lot of these are going to be the Year 2 figures. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. First of all, we're going to talk about all the core class figures, and there's a lot. We've got Nemesis Prime, which obviously would be a repaint of the Optimus Prime. Dinobots are apparently going to be a big thing, because we've got Grimlock listed, so that's very cool. We heard about, I think it was Slug and some other characters, so that's very nice. Uh, Bomb Burst is apparently going to be a repack, so he's going to be revealed in some previous wave uh, compared to this, so that's going to be interesting to hear about because I don't think we heard about Bomb Burst up until now. Now, I also need to point out that the Energon monsters that we've been hearing about are apparently the Pretenders, so unfortunately that doesn't mean it's going to be some sort of weaponizer gimmick, it's all just Pretender stuff, so there you go. Continuing with the Dinobots, we also have Swoop, so that's pretty cool, and we also have Starscream, which is going to be a repack of the one that we already have, and Scar, which is originally one of the characters that came with Double Dealer, we saw that in the 4-pack for the Soundwave Spy Patrol, and also Dinobot Snarl is going to be a core class figure. Next up we have the Deluxe class, which is Shrapnel. So obviously Kickback's not going to be the only Insecticon, which a lot of us would have guessed, so eventually we're going to get all three of them, I'm pretty sure of that. Now, for the Studio Series 86 Ironhide, some people are upset because, well, the Earthrise figures, they don't really matter too much, but to that I will say that that pack was pretty hard to get. And the best part about this is we're getting another Deluxe Class Prowl. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be the G1 Prowl, but there's no indication of any other form. However, we did hear that Animated is going to take place in the Transformers Legacy line, so it very well could be the animated version of Prowl. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Crosscut is an obvious one because we already have Skid, so obviously it'd be a repaint of that. And then Junkion 2, we actually heard about this uh, pretty recently, so no surprise there. We also have Voyager Class Nemesis Leo, which we're apparently getting the Leo Prime, so that makes a lot of sense. This is probably the best one, but we're getting a repack of the Ramjet, which I'm hopefully... Oh, I'm sorry, hoping is not the G2 version of Ramjet we got from Selects. Obviously, it wouldn't be that. But what's awesome about that is they decide to repack an Amazon exclusive that was really hard to get. Or at least that seems to be the indication, and I'm really hoping so because I pre-ordered that pack and I never got it. So I want that Ramjet. I think this is perfect, and it does show that Hasbro does listen to us from time to time. We're also getting another Voyager Class Junkion, not sure if it's going to be a Rekgar repaint, slash remold, or something else. And then Voyager Class Bludgeon, which I thought Bludgeon would be a rework of the Skullgrin, but it doesn't seem to be the case because this one's going to be a Voyager Class this time around. So that is pretty much it. What do you guys think? Please comment below, let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. And we'll see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.